What's going on guys, xfrotox 95 here. Today I'm bringing you some gameplay and I'm fast forwarding through the first part of this video because I had some connection issues and there were only two other players in the game and it's not very eventful at all. They were just camping their asses off in the absolute corner of the map and I get killed there. That's my first death. I'm not going to spoil the score but I got a pretty decent score considering I'm using the Akimbo Scorpions. I am doing this gameplay at the request of one of my viewers. Um, you know, I want to know more of what kind of gameplay you guys want to see. What I I will take more gun requests. Uh, I like challenging myself. I think it's it's uh, important to challenge yourself, try out new things. Uh, I originally got a gameplay on the on Silo. I was really lucky. I went 30 and 5. Um, I was gonna put that up, but then when I went to my file share to try and record it, I realized I only had two minutes of the game up uh, on the file share, so I had to restart. And this is my first game after that and I get pretty I get the exact same score and I spoiled it for you guys but whatever um, I go 30 and 5 I, however I don't get any of my final kill streak which are the attack dogs and the kill streaks I use for free for all are UAV blackbird and the attack dogs the reason I do this is because UAV is a nice three kill streak or two kill streak that really helps you out in free for all when you're at when you're at such a disadvantage when you're going 1v7 in a free for all it gives it really really increases your chances of winning when you have UAV and blackbird does the exact same thing although uh, much more effectively and it's an eight kill streak and the UAV usually lasts long enough for you to be able to get your blackbird which lasts long enough for you to be able to get your dogs hopefully if you're not camping that much uh, which I would not say that I was to uh, that big of an extent. I would say I was uh, more patrolling an area. What I did was I took this area here and I pretty much made it my home. I didn't let anyone in without them being killed. Uh, and that's what you want to do in free for all. It's really dumb to just run around and you're not going to do very well like that. That's how I used to play free for all, but I was more uh, hesitant to run around. In this gameplay, I do a little bit, and that's probably every single time I die, it's because I'm not in my little home where I can uh, just surprise people. Um, the reason I keep dying is because it's not smart to run around. You're not going to get good gameplay like that. That's how I used to play Free For All, and uh, I felt like when I was trying to get this gameplay with the Akimbo Scorpions, especially, I needed to have close quarter combat, so I wanted to stick to that area. I chose that before the game started, or during the game, and then... After that, uh, I just pretty much stayed to it. It would have been a lot smarter for me if I just stayed there. I probably would have gone something like 31, 30, and 2, maybe 30, and well, not 30, and 0 because that guy killed me. And here I get killed for the second time on a 9 kill streak. Um, my opinion on this map, I think it's really great for free for all because there's so many different kinds of weapons you can use. However, I don't like it for Team Deathmatch or Domination because uh, the spawns are changing way too much I don't like um, and I never feel safe on this map I don't know why even with a claymore behind me a motion sensor I still feel like someone's gonna spawn behind me because it's such a quiet map um, not much goes on it's it's not the biggest map but it's pretty big I would say <clears throat> and when everything gets really quiet you get really well I don't want to say I get scared but you know I, uh, I kinda start freaking out because I don't want to die so yeah um, my opinions on free for all. This is going to be my first game play up, playing free for all, and I want more of your guys' input. I want to know what kind of gameplay you guys want to see in terms of game types. You want to play sabotage, more search and destroy, more team deathmatch, more domination. You know, whatever, whatever you guys want to see. Uh, I'll probably do that because I like challenging myself. I like using different guns. I like playing different game modes. It's good to try new things. Um, it's almost as if playing Call of Duty. Uh, well, for me at least, it's almost like a like a relationship. <laughs> I know it's gonna sound really weird to you guys, but it gets boring. I'm not gonna lie. So it's important to try new things. And you know, you guys may start laughing at this, but it's kind of true. If you guys play into the game enough, you'll realize, oh, this game is so boring. And then once you start trying new guns, you're like, oh, this is not that bad anymore. Um, and I feel like it's the same way with women. Yeah. And this gameplay isn't the most exciting, but the Akimbo Scorpions make it kind of badass because it's a pretty, I don't know, it's not a bad weapon. By itself, the regular Scorpion is pretty bad, 
Like if it comes up against a, a FAMAS or an AUG or a AK, it's not going to do very well. And this was just stupid on my part, I just wanted to get rid of the grenade. But um, in something like free for all, where there's so much close quarters combat, and when you have steady aim on, and I'll and I'll talk about steady aim in a second, it's it's a really awesome weapon. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Now I think that steady aim is an absolute must, and everyone's probably thinking, duh, you know, steady aim, dual wield weapons. But uh, I've actually seen people using dual wield weapons without steady aim. Um, which is really really stupid. If you guys don't know already, steady aim increases your damage when you're hip firing, and when you have two or a Kimbo, SMGs, pistols, whatever you have, uh, you're gonna always be hip firing. So you always always need steady aim. It like pretty much doubles the damage that you you dish out and makes it more accurate. So yeah, um, my other perks are scavenger and marathon. And the reason I use scavenger in this game is because akimbo weapons run out of ammo so fast because you're using hip fire weapons you're use, you're firing two times more bullets than you normally would and you're um, less accurate with those shots so not only firing from two weapons you're also shooting even more because you know the weapons are not scoped in to the iron sights and stuff like that and I would say that Marathon is. I used Marathon mostly because uh, in something like free for all, you want to be able to run behind stuff, hide that kind, of, and get to certain places as fast as possible without being spotted a lot in the open. So I just used that. I could have easily used Ninja so that people wouldn't have heard my footsteps, and there I die on a 10 kill streak. It made this gameplay a lot easier. Um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, yeah, Marathon, Ninja, Hacker could have worked. If I was running around and not trying to, you know, man one spot, so to speak, uh, it probably would have been smarter to use Hacker or... Well, I don't use Second Chance because I'm not a pussy, but I don't know. Thir the third perk in pretty much any game mode is... Um, is up to you guys. It's just a, it's personal preference. I usually use hacker. I use marathon only for this game. The reason I use hacker is because I play a lot of search and destroy. And I actually I think this procedure is pretty much all I've been playing. And with search and destroy, people put down claim wars nonstop, and you want to be able to see those through the wall. And we're about to come to the end of this gameplay. I think my final score was 30 and 5. Please like the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.